In this tutorial, we're going to talk about embedding HTML into a Jumag online magazine. Our target in this case is to embed a Google map that we've already created. But remember, you could be embedding any HTML that you can locate through a variety of websites. You could also, of course, write your own. But here's the effect we're looking for. So I'm in the reader mode of my magazine, and I've dropped in a screenshot of a map that I created in Google Maps. When I click on it, the Jumag Online Magazine will then open up the embedded HTML. And keep in mind, this is not a static map. It is a totally live map for your viewers to modify, manipulate, and enjoy. So how do you do this? Let's get started. So first, I want to leave Jumag for a moment and drop back to my map. So here's my map. Um, Jumag does not allow you to embed the HTML directly onto the page of a magazine. The only option is a pop-up. So first, I need a target to click on. I could just use a text target. Click here to see the full-size map, but I really think that's not as visually valuable as having at least the static image. So take a screenshot. On a Mac, it's Command-Shift-4. We'll get our little crosshairs. Select the region that you'd like to have. And that image has been dropped onto the desktop. I've already uploaded one, so let's keep going with what we've got. Here's the spot where I want to drop the map. Looking on the left-hand toolbar of Jumag, there's the photo tool. Click it. You could upload your file from here, but as you can see, I already have my screenshot uploaded and highlighted, so I'll simply click Place in the lower right-hand corner and click and drag to place my map. And there we have it. So now I want to build this in as a link. Um, let's go back to the map that I created and remember to grab HTML, the embed code, from your Google Maps. You have to be in editing mode. Click on the folder. Go down and click on embed on my site. And it's already selected for you. How easy is this? Little command C. Well, OK out of that. Head back over to Jumag and our editing tool. So you can see I already have my target image selected. Now we're off to the right hand side and look at the link icon. Click it. You get a number of choices. We would like to select pop up HTML and click add. And paste that in there. Now before you just click and bail out, pause for a moment friends. Take a look at height and width. This is in pixels. At this point if we roll with this, you're going to have height and width in pixels of 50 by 50. That's postage stamp size practically. What size to use? Well, it's actually the answer is in front of us. Check it out down here in the HTML. I'm going to highlight it for you. Width equals 640, height equals 480. Let's do it. Now you'll notice I'm going to add a little cushion. So I'm going to do 650 for the width, 490 for the height. That's just in case different browsers manage the pop-up in different ways to allow for any nav bars that you may encounter, any borders. Your mileage may vary. This is what was available for me from Google Maps. You may have to tinker with this a little bit, trial and error, previewing your page until you get the size that is best for your viewers. We're good to go. I'll click OK. I've got my link in and a quick save. There's my target screenshot. Click. And there's our map. So at any time, you can go back into that page, edit it, select the target image, click on the link, go down to edit on the link pop-up. And if you feel like you need a little more room, change the width and height as needed. OK it. Don't forget to save, it's your best friend, and then see how those modifications work out.
whether you're using Google Maps or some other source for H embedded HTML, like um, a widget or a YouTube clip, this is a great way to integrate vibrant content into your Jumag online magazine. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.